Why is monitoring and evaluation, often referred to as M&D, so critical to the success of any project or initiative? Simply put, it's because M&D systems provide a structured way to track progress, measure outcomes, and use that information to improve efficiency and effectiveness. Imagine you're embarking on a journey. The M&D system is your compass, your map, your guide. It's the tool that helps you understand if you're moving in the right direction, how far you've come, and what adjustments you need to make to reach your destination. So, how does one design an M&E system? The first step is defining the purpose of the M&E system. This is the fundamental question. Why do you need this system? What outcomes or impacts do you intend to measure? Defining the purpose gives direction and clarity to the entire process. Next, identify the key stakeholders. Who will be using the M&E system? What information do they need? Knowing your audience helps tailor the system to deliver the most useful information. The third step is defining the indicators. These are the specific data and information that will be collected to track progress towards the desired outcomes. Indicators are your yardsticks, your measures of success. Now, determine what data will be collected. What are the sources of data? What are the methods of data collection? The choice of data and methods will depend on the nature of the indicators and the available resources. After this, it's time to develop data collection tools. These could be forms, surveys, or other tools needed to collect the necessary data. The tools should be designed to capture accurate and reliable data. The sixth step is to train data collectors. Those responsible for collecting the data need to understand the process and be properly trained. This ensures that data collection is consistent and reliable. Now comes the action, collecting the data. Implement the data collection process and ensure that all relevant data is collected. This is the heart of the M&E system. Once the data is collected, it's time to analyze it. This step involves determining progress towards the desired outcomes and identifying any patterns or trends. Analysis brings meaning to the data. It tells the story behind the numbers. The penultimate step is to present the findings. The M&E findings should be presented in a clear and concise manner that is accessible to the intended audience. Remember, the value of data lies in its use. Finally, use the findings. The ultimate goal of an M&E system is to inform decision-making and improve the effectiveness of the program or intervention. The findings provide valuable insights that can guide improvements and adjustments. In conclusion, Designing an M&E system is a methodical process that involves defining its purpose, identifying stakeholders, defining indicators, determining and collecting data, analyzing it, presenting the findings, and using the insights to improve effectiveness. Done right, a well-designed M&E system can be a powerful tool for driving social change and making a lasting impact.